And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Rocky Road a la mode. I'm not a big fan of Rocky Road ice cream, but there are many different ice creams I do like. And if there's one thing I like, it's the sound of the ice cream truck coming. Now, I don't have this happen much now where I'm at because I live in a homeowner association and they don't like ice cream trucks. But when those ice cream trucks would come around and you heard them coming, that was a beautiful sound in the summer. Well, here you are. You are an ice cream truck driver and you want to help these children by taking their money and giving them ice cream. So this is a game in which it's a very small game, but it feels like a bigger game than it actually is. As you move your ice cream truck around, get orders, deliver those orders, complete those orders because you want the most people to eat your ice cream. Let's take a look at the game. The goal of this game is to be the first person to get nine loyalty points, or if someone gets the nine loyalty points, having the most. And you're going to be doing that by delivering ice cream. So uh, when it's a player's turn, well, first of all, I guess it's how do you know it's a player's turn? Well, in this person's case, whoever is the highest truck on the stack is going to go first. So let's say blue takes a turn, and whatever blue does makes them go three spaces. Then pink is the next one, so pink might go forward two, then green would go forward three, and then yellow might go forward four. Then, whose turn is it next? Whoever's the farthest behind goes. So pink might do something that makes them only go one. That means pink gets to go two turns in a row because pink can go again. That makes them do something one. Then green lets them go here, that's five, which gives them this wild token. Then blue might go one and then go three, and so on and so forth. So whoever's the farthest behind and on top will go first. Now, players have three different actions that they can take on their turn. One of those actions can be restocking, where you can draw cards. When you draw cards, you can draw from these three face-up ones or the face-down one. When you draw a card, it's going to have two things on it. It's going to have some customers who want ice cream, and then it's going to be a certain kind of ice cream. So you can see this one here is an orange creamsicle, and it has a guy here who wants a pink uh, swirly one, and she wants two of the blue uh, freeze pops or whatever they are. So this one here also shows one on it. That's how much it costs to put that order on your truck. So if I want to take three cards, I would just move three spaces and I could say, I'll take this one, which is replaced. I'll take this one, which is replaced. And then I'll take one off the top of the deck and I have my three cards. So that's one thing you can do is you can restock up to five cards. Another thing is you can place an ice cream order to do that you will simply take the order and stick it under your truck like this. How much does it cost? Whatever the number is here. So this would make you move forward three spaces when doing that. That's, so that's the second action. The third action is fulfilling an order. So to fulfill an order here, I would need to give this guy two blues and a pink. Well, if I have two blues and a pink in my hand, I would simply discard those and move this up one. Remember, if I picked up one of these, I can use that as a wild resource and when I do, I put it in the, the empty space that's closest to the back of my truck. Then once uh, I do that, I can use another action. And by the way, it's one action to feed somebody to move your space one space. I could pay her three of these strawberry cones and move it down. Once you do the second person, you'll turn it like this and put it behind your truck, showing that I've just gotten three loyalty points, which is a good way to win the game. Sometimes when you put them behind your truck, they don't give you any points. This one here gives you no points, but gives you a pink ice cream cone. That means on future orders, so if I want to fulfill this order here, I would need only two because I already have one. And so the more of these that you get, this one here gives a point and a creamsicle, another point and a creamsicle, and another point and a creamsicle. So now I can, I can give these creamsicles out really easily because I have three of them for every order. Not only that, though, because I have three of them, I can take this card here. When you take one of the, if you're the first person to get a certain number of rewards, three creamsicles, three of the blue, three of the pink, or one of each, you can take the corresponding card, which is worth that many loyalty points. A second person can do it too, but it's going to be fewer points for the second person who does it. And that's it. You're just going to keep taking turns and turns and turns until somebody wins by getting nine loyalty points. 
I should also mention that there are some cards with the game that tell you what to do on your turn, but these cards can be turned over to make the track in case you don't have room to put this in and you just want to bring a deck of cards with you. There's another variant that's included with the game where instead of putting out wild resources, you can just randomly pull and put different resources on each spot, but then they're very specific ones, not wild ones. Folks, I really like this game. I was really surprised. It's a nice little stylistic game. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about it. First of all, I like the theme. Ice cream's a good theme. And so when I played this, I was like, don't mess it up, don't mess it up. And they didn't. It's a straight up great little game. Uh, but so the theme works. The cards are also neat because this card is several things. So when you're drawing cards, am I drawing it because I want the strawberry? Am I drawing it because it's only one to load it on my truck? Am I drawing it because when I finish it, it's going to be worth two points and give me a creamsicle? So you're thinking all these things when you draw the cards. And so you're sitting there drawing cards. I, that, that's a good mechanism. Then when you get them, do I want to use this card to feed this girl? Or do I want to keep this card because I want to be able to use this card to fulfill an order later on? So this turn, I'm just going to draw cards. Nice, simple, easy choices. Draw cards, play it. I taught this game to non-gamers, people who don't play many games, and they were able to easily pick it up, jump into it. The theme helped there too. The one thing that they, they were a little surprised at, but something I like is how the last person goes and where you can go multiple times in a row if you're far enough behind. So if you draw five cards, sure, you're saving yourself some time, but you might be waiting a while for everyone else to take their turn. So that takes some getting used to, but it's a nice mechanism and it keeps the game flowing very smoothly. How many cards you draw, how many spaces you move. Whatever number it shows here, that's how many spaces you move. You feed a kid ice cream, you move one space. Nice, solid, beautiful art. The whole thing comes together in a very small package. My only maybe complaint would be uh, it could I could maybe use a little bit bigger, maybe a few more cards because you do go through the deck pretty quickly multiple times. But really, it's a nice small package to bring around. Uh, I think of all the green couch games I've played so far, this one is easily the best. It's a lot of fun, great theme, fun card game. Definitely check it out. Dice Tower Judgment approved! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.